Hello, I'm Avery. This is Online Income Network. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the new customization tab that is now on Creator Studio. This is essentially a way for you to customize multiple things that were basically spread out across YouTube that they decided to put it all in one spot that makes it a lot simpler for you to be able to find everything that you can customize. Now, I say everything, but not everything, but most stuff that you want to do as far as customizing your home page and your about section, stuff like that. So, and before I finish going to something else, I do want to say that this is a lot easier to do, but this also makes some of my old stuff a little obsolete. Like I just made that stuff this year and now uh, this year is not obsolete. So it kind of is what it is, but hey, I mean, making a new video out of it, I guess. So as you can see on Creator Studio, the customization page is right under, or the tab rather is right under monetization. And you can see that it has the layout, it has branding and the basic info tab. The layout is your homepage layout. Now I got another tab open and you can see that this is my tab right here. You can see that it says monetize YouTube channel at the top how to get more views, things like that. And basically, and you'll see the same thing, how to get more views, how to monetize your YouTube channel. By the way, if you want to learn how to monetize your YouTube channel, I suggest you check out the playlist. I'll have something pop up for that right about now. Uh, but yeah, so you can see, uh, let's just start off with video spotlight, for example. The trailer I'm going to keep for for people who haven't subscribed. For returning subscribers, I'm gonna go ahead and change this. Now I can go ahead and either just remove it or I can go ahead and just change it, add a new one. And I'm going to add a Morning Fame review. If you don't know what Morning Fame is, it's a research tool for YouTube. It helps with getting ranked. Uh, as far as SEO and then also helping you look at engage your analytics and things like that to help you realize which one of your videos I have another card pop up right here for that one. Let's go to featured sections. Now, like I said, I got how to get more views on YouTube at the top going over here to the right. If I hover over it, you can see I had that those three basically I had the options on the right. So that opens up these options, in which case I can edit the section contents, I can view the playlist, or I can move the section all together. I'm gonna go ahead and edit the section contents. So you can see right here, you can choose a playlist. So you can just change the playlist on one of these sections up here already. But if you wanna add a new section, you can just go up here, and you got all the regular stuff that you will see, which is popular uploads, live now, live streams, upcoming, so on and so forth. And now at the bottom, you can add your subscriptions and then you can add feature channels. So you can see that over here to the right, it says that feature channels is moving, which means basically either sometime on or before October, well, I said before, on or after October 15th, feature channels won't be over here anymore. It seems that there'll be a section over here along these other uploads and whatnot. So that's where they're gonna end up moving it. And as far as feature channels are concerned, people cannot see them on mobile. So this will be able to make people on mobile phones be able to see them now. So that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, and yeah, really, that's all I wanted to show off for, you know, the layout. And I'm going to go ahead and go to branding. And you can see the first thing on branding is the profile picture. You can remove and change your profile picture from here. Same thing with channel art. And then the last but not least is the video watermark. I really ain't got much more I could say other than that about this tab. Last thing I want to talk about as far as customization is the basic info. In which case you can uh, change the channel name and description from right here. Like in branding, you can only change the profile picture, but here you can actually change the name. So click on that, you know, the little pencil situation. You can change from online. I can change it from online income network. I'm messing up a lot right now. I can change it from online income network to something else. Same thing with the channel description right under it. And 
I could add a language if I want, but I ain't gonna mess with that. Uh, right below that, I got links, you know, external links that I wanna put up here. I got one I wanna actually add right now, which is a Instagram. And I'm going to put that up here and just leave it at that. You see links on banner and it just basically says if you have a certain amount, how many links do you actually want to be shown up here? So I'm going with the first three. So I want to show off all three. In other words, I could put, you know, subscribe. Usually you'll see some people actually put, you know, subscribe to the channel, to a YouTube channel, but why? I, I, that's the only thing I don't understand what people do that for, because you already have a subscribe button right below that. So, I mean, I don't understand the point, but that's just me. At any rate, below that, the load of links on banner, you have the contact information. So if you want any viewers or subscribers to contact you, you could put this in your email and that would end up on the about page right here. But you can also see that your links are always gonna show up up here. So all I gotta do is when I want to you know, finish everything up, I can go ahead and put publish. And then right at the bottom, it says changes are published. Do I wanna go to channel? I'm gonna say yes. You can see that I have a few new changes up here. Let's go back up to the top. And you can see that my Instagram is right over here so people can click on that so that's really everything i want to show off as far as the new customization the only thing that i don't like that i feel like they gotten rid of is on the section the featured sections portion you used to be able to make it horizontal or vertical the way people see it but now it looks like you can only do it horizontally so that seems like seems like they could have put that in there. So that kind of sucks. But other than that, I mean, seems pretty good. Yeah. But what do you think about this customization tab? Do you like how everything is in one spot or did you did you like how everything was before? Uh, was there anything else that they left out that you would want to see in an update? Let me know. And Last but not least, hopefully you found the information useful. And if you did, why don't you go ahead, like, subscribe, share with a friend, click the bell notification so you get notified when new videos come out from me. I make new videos every week. Thanks for watching.